Hi everyone, I'm back from my vacation. I'm still in the middle of Passover, but the big hoopla is behind me. So, before my uh, vacation, uh, several of you asked uh, to see how I'm making the dragonflies that are here on this page. So, that's what we are going to do today. And I'm moving this aside. So, uh, the beginning. Uh, I'm uh, when I want to do something like that um, I will go to Pinterest and look for a free printable dragonflies but it doesn't have to be dragonflies if you want to do butterflies strawberries flowers whatever you want look for it print it now if you don't have a printer you don't know how to use Pinterest just make your own sometimes that's what I'm doing Sometimes I will get lazy and just find an image on the internet and do a, just print it. Now, for those of you who don't have a printer and still want to do the dragonflies or any other a, embellishment a, they want, a, my advice is always to uh, think of whatever you want to do and uh, minimize it to the to graphic shapes the simplest graphic shapes so if I want to do a dragonfly I will start with some kind of a circle for the head or if you think it's a uh, better you can do an oblong for the head and again for the body Play with it until you are satisfied with the shape you want. Now I can go for the wings. I can do this kind of a wing. I can go and make it more a uh, my thing and do something like that. And this would be the wings of my a uh, dragonfly. It's only up to you and your imagination how you want to do your dragonfly. And this is just a graphic shapes. So that's one way to go about it. So here I've got a several printed dragonflies. I'm going to work on this, uh, this ones. They are bigger, so I hope you will see what I'm doing. It will be easier to see. So before we start with it i'm going to show you how i've done the uh, the gauze uh, that going on top of the wings and it's only one option but several uh, ex asked about it so it's either cheese clothes or gauze here we go and you can work on it as is like this or you can start moving it and so it would be more interesting just stretching it in places so it won't be so stiff and uh, too symmetrical but it's again this is uh, for you to decide how you want it so that's enough for now. I'm put, uh, I've put it on top of a plastic bag and I'm going to put on it a glitter glue. Uh, use whatever glitter glue you have. I know that uh, Elmer's has all, also so it's uh, reachable and it's not something expensive. Uh, you can, if you don't want glitter, you can also paint it with uh, acrylics. So what I've done, I've got this, I've got several colors of uh, glitter glue and they are starting to dry on me. So what I've done is I've taken this uh, palette knife and I took uh, the glitter glue with the, with the palette knife and started to just put it on my gauze like so. You can hardly see this because it's really uh, only the glitter 
I'm moving on to another one. Here is green glitter. You can I hope you can see this better. You can mix, you can play with it. It doesn't really matter. Do again whatever you want. So this is a uh, one of the things and I've done another one. I've experimented and let's see if I've got it. I'll take more of this glitter glue here. And I've mixed, I'm going to mix this with a little bit of uh, acrylic paint. I don't know how it will uh, go. Uh, I've made an, a try for it and it's dry. I, I left it to dry and I haven't uh, taken it out yet. So I don't know how it turned out, but I want. I still want to uh, show you how I've done it. So a little bit of paint here and again just smearing it. Now you don't have to have a, a pellet knife, use whatever button knife you have. If you are more comfortable use a paintbrush. So, and of course, if you feel like you want more glitter, use more great glitter. And let's uh, clean this. I'll take a little bit more and put it on top. I don't want the acrylic paint to go in my uh, glitter glue so this needs to uh, dry now I haven't timed it but I left uh, in both times I've done this I left it overnight and here is the one I have left to dry so I've got here uh, this light blue glitter glue I've got the gold and I've got here black with gold that I still need to see how it turned out. I'm just moving the glitter glue aside so we can continue and now I'm just peeling off. Here it is. Now on this side it's all it's almost like plastic and here is the interesting uh, part of uh, the gals. So that is going to go on the wings, but you don't have to. There is another way to make the wings interesting. So for now, this is going uh, again aside. Here are my butterflies. And now it's time for the nail polish. And of course you can color them with whatever you have. If it's acrylics, if it's uh, felt pens. Uh, Posca pens, whatever you want. I went for the nail polish because I wanted the animal look that it uh, gets. So uh, I've got here a black nail polish and it has this thin brush. It's supposed to be for um, decorating uh, and making nail art. So it's uh, easier do details like the body of the dragonfly. I'm using it to my advantage. Now again you don't have to have this thing and I buy all of this in the cheap store. Here is the body of the butterfly of the <laughs> dragonfly and now for the wings. And let's see, 
Uh, I like to start the wings with a darker color and go lighter uh, towards the ends of the uh, uh, wings but you can do whatever you want and let's see what let's go very very bold with color I don't know if you can see it but this is some kind of a metallic purple and this is some uh, pink neon so starting with the wings I'm putting a little bit here and I'm doing each wing in separately because nail polish will dry very fast and I don't want it to dry before I mix the colors so and now I'm starting from this end of the wing and going towards the purple getting into the purple and now I'm starting to mix it a little bit like so I think it's a uh, more interesting now I'm going to do the same thing with another color just so you will see or maybe I'll just continue I'll continue and do another color with a uh, other interest uh, in another the dragonfly so again from this tip of the wing towards the purple and starting to mix the two top colors before it dries this time I'm putting down purple on both wings and I'm hoping to work fast and again mixing there is no rules to it just have fun it's just paper mix whatever colors you you want if you are doing a you can even go whimsical do dots and whatever you want on this uh, thing let's see let's go with something different and i've got here a green metallic i am going to use it for the body it doesn't have to be black as I said, no rules. Do whatever you want. And you can also do a two coats. I can wait for this to dry. And I can add some of those uh, glitters on top of it. For more interest to my dragonfly. So the body is now metallic green and let's do the wings again. I'm just playing. I've got this yellow. Let's see what color do I want with it. Let's go with this. Again, the same technique, putting down one color and now from this end and I don't like this combination but who cares it's just paper I can do many of as many as I want and experiment with the colors I can go with this color here and go with gold so 
so it's really up to you and trying to mix but they don't mix very well never mind let's see i'll do just one more example and we'll move on to the next stage Here is a combination that I do like. So that's uh, the coloring of the dragonflies. And again, I'm moving aside all the nail polish so we can move on. Okay, so moving this aside. And here are two that I've already uh, colored and they are dry so we can move on move on now uh, here is the options you can decide to add the texture and the glitter to the wings and of course decide which uh, you want and this one didn't turn I think it didn't turn out well because I can't see through the wings but I will use this, uh, it, I really like the texture and the glitter in between, I will use it to an, another, pro another Art Jomo project just to add texture and interest. And I can uh, also uh, cut shapes out of it now that it's like plastic. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so, scissors. And I'm going to take from the gold. And um, easier with this one. I, I, I just cut a piece of, that will approximately uh, cover the wings, like so. Here is another one and glue just a little bit of glue on the wings and it's easier to work while it's still on the paper and only when everything will be dry I'll uh, fussy cut my image. So that's option number one for the wings to use the gauze with the glitter. The other uh, option, if you don't want to go to all this trouble, is to find a interesting uh, stamp. I've used a, a crackle stamp like this one and stamped on the wings and it also all it made for an interesting wings but you can also do anything else you can stamp some text like so or a handwritten uh, script or whatever uh, stamps you have that are more uh, for adding background it can also be dots if you like it so, reading on uh, a stamp pad, just to show you, I'm going to stamp here, and as you can see, it's really uh, adding to the wings, interest to the wings, like so. I'm just demonstrating now, so I don't care where it goes. Again. I can go like this and it will uh, be very interesting on the wings. Another example, 
this time I will do it on the wings here yeah so what we need to do now is just wait for it to dry and then fussy cut it and now I'm moving <laughs> all of this aside and let's fussy cut it just so you will see how it turned out when it's out and about <laughs> from this uh, paper. I'm using a, again nail a scissors, it's just easier to fussy cut with them. I'm using the curve of the scissors to my advantage on the curves I hope I'm in frame really bothering right now with being too accurate with the fussy cutting I just want you to see how it looks I really like making this and I stockpile them them I don't do one at a time I do several and now that I'm trying to get more organized with all my stashes, I also have a binder with pockets and each embellishment or focal image is just a categorized and like I've got a pocket for all my butterflies and now I've got a pocket for all my dragonflies so it's easier to work like that so here we go my uh, dragonfly and I hope you can see how lovely it is when you just add uh, some kind of stamp on uh, the wings and it doesn't it really doesn't matter what stamp as long as you have little details to add interest now you can also uh, take now a permanent a uh, marker and go all over the the lines you can add more details you can add bling whatever you like do some magical stuff and here I'm uh, going to cut this out although the the glue is a little bit wet still wet here but I want to show you again how it looks and I'm taking it out of the paper and here we go one more dragonfly to show you you can also ink around the edges Okay, so I hope you can see it and that you get the glitter and the gauze. Let's see if I have something darker to put on the side so you can see. Here it is. That's how it looks. So I'm going to uh, cut uh, some of those a butterflies and just put them on a page and come back just so you will see it as a complete deal I'll be back I'm back so here are my dragonflies here is the one with gauze on uh, with glitter on the wings 
here is the one with a text on the wings and another one with the handwritten script whatever you call it and I just have the the perfect page to make a home for them uh, this is the junk journal I made a video and showed you how I make a, a, to make a, ju a junk journal I showed you this and this and how to make the tiles I'll, if I remember I'll put a link below uh, for uh, the videos uh, if you uh, haven't seen them and I'm going to place my uh, dragonflies here and for those of you who asked about why do a junk journal and I really mean a junk journal not what a uh, people are now referring to a junk journal when they are taking all those beautiful uh, coordinated uh, papers and do a junk journal this is a really a junk journal all the um, a lot of a uh, all kinds of uh, paper that you wouldn't think can be used and are used here so a uh, first off uh, the junk journal I think is because we are hoarders and we have lots of paper and it's great to just start uh, using all of it like let's see here I've got uh, from an old calendar I've got some a uh, envelope I've got a uh, painty paper all kinds uh, uh, of papers uh, inside I've got a uh, wallpaper sample here a coloring book so uh, that's one of the reasons and this is not completely dry yet and that's the first a uh, reason for a junk journal to uh, take this your stashes and use them and just uh, make something out of it the second one for me uh, personally is it's uh, well it's an adventure and it's a challenge because like here I've got some a uh, page from a magazine uh, it was an uh, advertisement and I took it and now uh, you can't even see that it was something an advertisement some I think for a lipstick or something and I really like what turned out of it and let's see if I can find the other part of here it is the other side of this uh, page so it's a challenge to do something out of this kind of uh, paper and the third reason for me to do a junk journal is that I can play in it. I don't care. I can just stick uh, things in it and do my thing and experiment and see how colors are working. And I don't care. This is a junk journal. Do whatever you want. Everything I've done up till now is leftovers from other projects that most of them I even filmed and you've seen me uh, do these are just leftovers and leftovers all a kind of uh, punched out flowers and again leftovers and leftovers of the circles that you all uh, from the book jacket that you is you've seen me use several times and I've experimented by just uh, folding them in half and doing some kind of border as you can see I haven't done anything yet to this page so it's a challenge and it's for playing and experimenting here is more pages that I've already completed and I hope it will give you ideas to do the same and experiment and just do your thing don't i don't care it's all a uh, junk it's all paper that was junk there is no other a uh, 
name for it and here I just uh, took a uh, oil pastel that I haven't touched in ages and just done some page out of it so for me it's very liberating and it's in a small format so I can also uh, complete it with a very small amount of time and I don't have to uh, clear <laughs> A lot of time for uh, just playing and doing something uh, for me in it so that's so you also got <laughs> a lecture from me about junk journals and how, what to do with them so as you can see I still got a lot of work to do here and this is it that's my dragonflies that I really hope you will uh, try and play with and make your own dragonflies or butterflies or whatever image uh, you want to use as embellishment so this is it and i hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now